Okay, so this video is meant to come after you've learned the basics of scientific notation. Sometimes we have to take really big or really small numbers and multiply them. Um, and so in those situations, we got to know what's the easiest way to make the multiplication happen. Sometimes calculators eventually can't handle scientific notation because it gets too big. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a property of multiplication that we studied earlier. The order you multiply in doesn't matter. Right? You can do 2.8 times 3.9. Let's multiply the plain old numbers together. And that way, we can have 10 to the negative 6 multiplying next to 10 to the 5th. You don't necessarily have to write that out every time if you're comfortable with um, community property multiplication. Now that we've done that, we can use what we've learned about exponents. 10 to the negative 6 times 10 to the 5th. The powers add to make 10 to the negative 1st. That sets up, us up for our final step. The powers again can add up on the tens. Uh, that makes 10 to the zero. <clears throat> so it's 1.092, or in scientific notation, 1.092 times 10 to the zero. Okay, let's do another example. Okay, if you want to divide these two numbers, we can use uh, that same idea about uh, operations with plain old numbers. Let's just divide the, the plain old numbers 7.8 and 3.9. That's nice, it comes out to be 2, but if it came out to be 2.1, that's okay. We just put 0.1 over here. We've got 10 to the 5th over 2 to the negative 7th. That's it, it's actually inside the notation of the